Welcome back guys, so let's continue working with our cards. Now, you can find a lot of more information in what sort of slides you want to use. So here is Carousel, it's get bootstrap slash and you choose the latest because this can change in future and you can see there are different ways of doing this carousel slide, right? And um, yeah, maybe you want to choose this one, but also be mindful that it's you need to get some IDs because it's not going to work with uh, different images, right? That's why we do have this ID here. Where is it? That's why we, we just want to link this post ID, but I'm going to continue mine. So it's going to live with this lecture. Uh, I'm going to do the coding a little bit and that's pretty much it. So if you want, you can just speed up as me and after that I will explain what's happening. Now, after carousel inner, I'm just going to say if and I'm going to create here. I'm going to say, let's do it like this. If and I don't want to confuse you because after that we need to close this end in. Now, if and I will say post image, we are checking if the image count is greater than zero. Okay, now we know if the image count is greater than zero. I'm going to do a for loop here, not for each, so for. So we have a couple of parameters here. I, it will be zero. That is what usually starts. So every programming language this ha have this part. So the second one in the middle will be, we'll say count, and we will say images. Now, we don't have these images yet. Now, what we will say, what I will do right now, I will just grab these images and I put it in a variable like this because otherwise we will we have to put it somewhere else here. Now, I will say post image and I will say get. So I will be able to get all of them. Now, that is done and the, we will do at the end the incremental I++ because we do have that loop. Now, for and we should also have N4. Make sure that you do have this too. Now inside, we will say, sorry, I will have to do if again, and I will move this a little bit like that. So these four should be moved like that. So you now you have the structure. Now, if I, is equal to zero so double so equal equal to zero right now uh, that will give us the active class or carousel this carousel so item and the second class is active now this will be our first item here I will have IMG there class in house have this play block that D block stands for that and I want width to be a hundred that's bootstrap SRC SRC will be slash post I think we do post images right here it is post images post images Slash and inside now I can access it. I will say images of I and I will grab the name of that because I do have I can do do have the name. So that is pretty much what we want. So I'm printing the name of for example the image zero. We will have two images for this post and it start always start from zero. So first image will be zero and the name. The second image will be zero uh, one and the name, and that will stop. Now, if you have done any course, any like uh, programming course, you will know how this four four um, loop works. If you don't know, Google it, and everything will be clear. Now, the alternative tag 
alt tag will be um, let's say first slide that's what they have now I just want to also add a style here called with width to be a hundred percent semicolon and height to be 13 RAM or 130 pixels semicolon in the end so I'm done here I'm just gonna copy it the entire thing I'm just gonna copy it. so I select it double click and I copy it or actually what we can do I can copy the entire one because I only need this part where I don't need the active so after uh, after if actually we need to create else here else and if you do hit like that it will not give you any problems if you just type an else it will give you some other things now if this is not the active class if I if it's not zero I don't want this one to have active so I'm just gonna remove active and everything should remain same now this and if very good just wait just gonna move it a little bit there a little bit there now I do have this if there it is else else so I have if and for and if from this first if now now before this and if close here this and if is for the for the first if so I'm closing it here but what what is happening if I don't have any image now I can always easily check I'm just gonna make it to the right one more and I can always easily check with else so I'm gonna say else and I'm just gonna paste again this one so now I need in the post images to have some default so I'm gonna say default.jpg for example now that will not be the first slide or here you don't make it first slide you say post IMG images very good I'm just gonna copy in here I don't need this first slide because it's not gonna be first slide so what is this actually doing is that if I don't have it here if I don't have any uh, any images I want some default images to be applied so that's pretty much it now the end if is ending this div is for carousel inner now after this div sorry after this second div it's not for the carousel this is for carousel slide what we can do we can create the card body now I'm just gonna make it here oops make sure that you put a comments here to know where you're doing what you're doing so I told you how you can do that now inside I will have h5 okay now I will have inside a class called uh, card title margin bottom 5 very good in here I will just print the card I will print sorry the post title very good and here I need this because it's not gonna work now I do have this in the card body what, what else would I want in a card body I just want to have the post title post body as well so I'm gonna say P so I'm gonna have P class with card text and margin bottom five as well and I'll say post body now next thing is we are just going to create I'm just gonna save it that will be for the later because here after this I do want in the card body to have something like um, links to view the posts and to edit the post from here that's why I didn't put it there in the table so let's see what's happening now I paused the video and I've noticed my mistake so when I was deleting the images in my folder I delete them images by mistake so they were not there so I was trying to loop through the images that were not there and that's why I didn't have the result 
Now, if you refresh, you can actually see this one. And if you wait for a while, it will loop through them. Okay, we're going to wait a little bit more. Here it is. That's the second image. Now, this one, there is no image, but the, the first title and the body is not there. Although, there is no image. Why? Because we don't have default.jpg. So, what, what I can do is actually, I can go to, here it is. I can copy this one. And I can paste it. Can I paste it here directly? Yes, I can. Now, I think so it will work. Or you can drag and drop image here. Now, if I refresh, no, still I don't have it. Let me just inspect it. Ooh, today I do have this problem with images. Okay, now, this car innocent, so post image default, it will be, now, there is, the image is not loading, actually, right? Also, what I've noticed is that I do have this width mistake. So make it sure that it's width everywhere, like here, like there. Now, one more thing that I want, and probably was something somewhere right here. Okay, we change all of them. Now, this is not showing, so if you refresh, if you go here, inspect it again, Sorry about this guys, today I have a real problem. Everyone is doing, everyone is knocking on the door. So everyone was asking something. Now, here, if you go in this div here, we do have this card body, but the thing is that, and if you hover it, there is the image, but it's not visible, why? Because this is not visible, it's not active. Now we need to make it active, same as here. Now, if I refresh, here you go. You do have this two cards. Actually, they are de their height is defined by the content, so you can make it with the, the entire card. We can make it later with the defined height. We can say width and with the height of, like, I don't know how many pixels it will be, so I need to test it out. But you can see that we do have now a working card. Also, create post, let's say seventh post. Let's browse and add this, these two different images there. And this is, so if you wanna create a content, if you don't know what to do, so here you say type lorem, and it will generate the text, so you can, sorry, you can select that one, you can cut it, and you can put it here. So at that post, the post is successfully created. Very good. Let's view all of the posts. Here it is. It's in the first. It's bigger than the usual, right? But we do have two images. Let's see if they're gonna roll. So I have this one and the other one. That's it. Cool. So they're similar, but you can see there is one on the top. There, 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 there is was red. So this one is not spinning because it's the default. This post doesn't have here it is doesn't have anything so that's pretty much it and i hope you enjoyed the lecture i have a couple of hip hiccups there so i'm just gonna minimize it here a little bit in order to see okay that's too much in order to see what i have done now change this one to where was it change this one to width to be a hundred percent and also make sure that you have the same images here. So I do have now five images, right? It's because I've deleted the last time. It was not visible. And after this else, for the default one, put active and change it here. And that's pretty much it. In the next lecture, we will add the links and we will finish up this entire process. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it and I see you in the next one.